what happens to our body living in the coldest city on Earth, where winter temperatures can plumb to minus 64 degrees and a thick fog obscures the sun for most of the year. This is not a scene from a science fiction movie, but the reality of living in Yakutsk. I was born and grew up in Yakutsk. Yakutsk is the capital city of the Sahar Republic in the far northeast part of Siberia. The average temperature in January hits minus 50 degrees, yet in Yakutsk life doesn't stop. We still go outside, go to school and work. Getting frostbite and hypothermia in Yakutia is almost as common as the cold itself. I often end up with mild frostbite, especially on exposed parts like my nose and cheeks. The moment I feel numbness, I often rush to a warm place like a mall or a heated bus station. But the tricky part about frostbite is that many don't realize they have it, because it numbs the nerves, causing damage without immediate pain. In Yakutia, we take this issue seriously and have specialized hospitals. Every year, thousands of people get help from doctors who know how to handle even the worst frostbite. Many of those who suffer from severe frostbite, risking the loss of fingers or limbs, are often homeless people. Surviving in such harsh conditions is nearly impossible, so the government builds more shelters to provide warmth and protection for the homeless. Another reason people get severe frostbite is because Yakutia is so big, covering over 3 million square kilometers, which is almost the same as size of India. Traveling between villages can take up to 48 hours. In such cold, car batteries can freeze, leaving travelers stuck in the taiga forest, which can be fatal. Sadly, every year about hundreds of people freeze to death in Yakutia. Vitamin deficiency, especially vitamin D, is also a significant concern in Yakutia due to the hour, extreme climate and limited exposure of sunlight during the long winter months. As you might know, vitamin D is crucial for our bone health, our immune function and overall well-being. I've been dealing with vitamin D and anemia for as long as I can remember. I recently finished my vitamin D and iron pills and I wanted to see if they actually helped. And this time I also wanted to take my sister to do the medical checkup, so we went to the hospital together. Our healthcare system here is quite good. It operates on a universal healthcare model, supported by government-funded compulsory medical insurance. This ensures that every citizen and resident has access to a free basic healthcare services. I belong to a private clinic that accepts compulsory medical insurance, providing a blend of public and private care. While consultations with doctors are free, some tests do require a fee, although it's not usually high. Getting a blood biochemistry and vitamin D test only cost me $90. The insurance covers a wide range of essential services, such as emergency care, hospital stays, diagnostic procedures, disease treatment, and maternity care. While we wait for our results, let's talk about another common issue here, and it's a seasonal affective disorder. In winter, the lack of sunlight and the constant cold can really get you down. It's tough to even step outside when you need to bundle up in hundreds of layers, so we spend quite a lot of time indoors. But staying indoors all the time can make you really feel tired, sleepy, and I can feel how my mood's dropping. Finding help for mental health is not easy in Yakutia, especially in the remote areas. But even in Yakutsk, I don't really know where to go to see a therapist. And not many people here are used to the idea of talking to a therapist. That's why I've been using BetterHelp, and it's been a huge help to connect to a therapist online. And this is a paid partnership with BetterHelp. I've been in therapy for more than one year already, and having a therapy sessions has helped me understand myself better and explaining the reasons behind my feelings. What I also love about BetterHelp is the convenience it offers. I don't need to travel to see my therapist, and I can have a therapy sessions right from home. If you're considering starting therapy, I highly recommend trying BetterHelp. BetterHelp is an online platform that makes therapy more accessible. You just need to simply provide a little information about yourself and what you are struggling with, and it will automatically match you with a licensed therapist who has years of experience of helping people who has struggles just like yours. And if you don't feel a connection with your therapist, 
you can easily switch to a new one. Having access to online therapy through BetterHelp has made seeking help so much easier and faster. Check out my link in the description betterhelp.com slash QNB and enjoy a special discount for your first month. The extreme cold in Yakutia can also cause health problems like infertility. Dressing warmly is crucial, but some teenagers choose style over warmth, risking their health and future fertility due to the cold affecting their internal organs. Infertility here can also arise from vitamin deficiencies, often because we don't get enough vitamins from our diet, especially vegetables. Having a baby can be challenging, but the government offers strong support for families. Giving birth is free, and new moms can stay in the hospital for up to a week to recover. They also get a generous maternity leave of up to 140 days with paid, plus additional unpaid up to three years with job protection. Plus, the government provides a monthly allowance, which is about 40% of the mom's salary until the baby is one and a half years old. And for each child, families receive financial support of $9,000 for the first child and $2,800 for each additional child. In Yakutia, the freezing air can also really stress your breathing, and it's also the most common health problem we face. So during the really cold days here, we often cover our face completely. And it's not only protect our skin, but it also protects our lungs. And I also heard many times from the newcomers who came to visit Yakutia for the first time, how the air in Yakutia is difficult to breathe. Recent studies have also shown that we in Yakutia tend to age faster. While cryotherapy is known for its health benefits, including slowing down aging, our situation is more complex. Research has found that our long-term adaptation to the harsh climate leads to us biologically aging three to four years faster than Caucasians. This accelerated aging is believed to be due to our increased metabolic rate as our bodies work harder to generate the energy needed for the warmth. It's a very interesting study because I always thought that living in Yakutia is slowing down our aging and I'm wondering what do you think about my age? You can write down your guess in the comments and if you guessed my age, I will give a like. So let's go back to the day when we received our test analysis and let's see how everything turned out. So we have got our analysis. Our vitamin D is pretty low. Mine is a bit higher than Diana. Diana's is like 27.5 and the minimum is 30, but mine is 38.9. Чи дикат не хпинада, он на вітаміна і біля курток нормалати йдбек, і нам було на мієм те не хпинада. Але їм було на кіне сух пут і міє кухан. На кухня пить було. So thank you so much for watching. Be healthy, and I hope you enjoyed this video. And see you in the next video. Bye.